What is going on guys? Um, today I decided to make a new video because yeah, first of all I've got exams so I'm pretty bored and yeah, I had nothing else to do except for studying so I thought yeah, why not make another video? Uh, first of all, the people who are wondering, uh, my, yeah, I keep on mentioning my other phones in my videos but my Nexus 5 has completely given up on me so therefore I now will be making some new videos about the Huawei, don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it, the P6 accent p6 but it's not just about the p6 actually it's about the the upgrade i did to the new android well the newest one they have i saw for the international one which is let's go here 4.4.2 so it's on the kitkat supported by um the huawei manufacturer so it's not a rom or custom rom or anything it's just a an uh, a farm, firmware upgrade uh, the annoying thing is that you have to do it yourself locally by going to your settings and yeah there are there are some tutorials already online if you if you don't completely understand how to do it i'm I have no problems on putting a tutorial up on how I did it pretty easily um so yeah basically you have to go to well updates on your four point two point two system updates and instead of doing online yeah i'm gonna have to read it out for you guys because this this just simply doesn't have a good enough focus. It says online update here, and it says local update here, and you just have to do it through your local updates. Probably you're already looking at it now. I'm not, whatever, I'm not going to make any assumptions, but yeah. If you are thinking of going to 4.4.2, I'll definitely uh, recommend it. And that's exactly why I'm making this video, just to show you why. So, first of all, um, as you can see, it's got more like an iPhone. Um, not that I'm a big fan of Apple, but it's got more of an iPhone yeah, the new iOS that they had brought out. It's like a bit more simple. All the icons are like they're not 3D. Let's say they're all more like you know cartoonish, like gallery and all that stuff. Um, the interesting features I found on this, which I have never seen in a phone before, is that it comes with a you don't well you don't have to download any third-party applications to get to make to optimize your phone because it does it, it itself. So I managed to keep one here. And it says, consumption reminder, Facebook is consuming power in the background. So it says, don't remind me anymore or close app. So, yeah, I don't, I don't like it running in the background, so I just do close app. And there we go, Facebook is gone. Uh, on the other hand, we have the, which is probably the same in 4.2 uh, Android version. You've got the just the little brush here, which just gets rid of everything, which is really, really cool because... On my Nexus I always had to sweep each one individually if I didn't have a, um, a custom ROM on it. Uh, it also says how much memory is being used, etc, etc. Uh, furthermore, yeah, I did make some adjustments. The There were some more widgets in the beginning. The I don't know what the one is called that comes with it, the really famous one. Uh, let's just have a look at what it's called. Nah, I can't remember. I can't be bothered to look for it either. The one with all like the widgets inside the widget, basically. I got rid of that, it didn't look that cool, well, handy to me. I got my calendar and with all the stuff in it here. Not much stuff going on as you can see. Um, yeah, um, going more into detail, the camera's changed as well. Oh, there you can see me. Um, this is just, yeah, this is the house. Um, the camera's changed, it's still kept the really weird, I have no idea what this is, but it's still got the, the what is it, beauty scale? So you can turn up the beauty scale to 10 and make yourself look really weird. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, I think it must be something that Asian people, not that I'm stereotyping, but Asian people must be loving this. Because it makes your th nose thinner and all that. And it still, it makes the picture a bit better. I, I can't show you a direct comparison, but in my opinion, the photos it made on 4.2 were not that good. Um, just trying to think what else, I'm, I'm literally just saying this out of the top of my head, just the, the things. Oh yeah, I really like the, the transitions, but I think that's in the 4.2 as well. I changed it to like, whatever it is, overflow or something like that. Um, it comes with this stock, I haven't changed this yet, it comes with that. And then it just has all your Google apps in one folder, which is pretty handy as well. I won't be changing that. Oh yeah, here, here's one. So it's got the, the shortcut bar, that is on many custom ROMs as well. So if you sweep from the left... You get notifications if you sweep from the right. Oh crap! You get your yeah shortcuts, whatever it is. So uh, basically, yeah, you can just it, it's got 
uh, options for everything and you can always get rid of them oh no you can you can get more oh nice uh, learning new things as we speak so if you press on the arrow you can get even more which are Wi-Fi hotspot multi-screen restart power off and of course you can always change which ones come first if you go more into detail um, sorry again if the the quality of the video is not good enough to follow what I'm doing but I'm trying to explain my best what I'm doing here uh, yeah of course it's got the brightness that you can change I don't know if that makes it better no it looks like it's gone worse just bring that back up put it, in, it, put it here um, going into the settings it's always interesting to look at um, it comes with all the the most important ones it's got oh yeah here's something really cool but I don't know if anyone would be using this unless you're 80 years old or you're, you're pretty you're pretty simple or something I don't know oh yeah the thing's actually even called simple so you've got the home screen style you've got standard which I'm on now and you've got simple and I'll just show you what it is it's something very I don't know interesting is a good word for it there it looks like a the most simple phone you've ever seen this is all what you get oh you get three slides nothing or is it customizable oh yeah you can customize something so I can get rid of settings oh well yeah now I've, d I've deleted settings now so you can add things um, it's just basically got everything really simply laid out for you if you don't want to do um, go through all the you know extras that they give you which is fair I mean if you only want to use this phone for messaging dialing uh, calling and looking at the weather that then this is probably the option you would want to use um, or oh, even the settings have changed that's pretty cool um, I'll change it back to normal because I'm not a big fan of it. That if you would want this setting, I would recommend you to just get the old Nokia or something like that. So, um, going more into detail, you've got power saving here, and then it, you can change it. See, that's another third-party app you've saved. So you've got Smart, which says automatically adjust the CPU and network usage for balanced performance. You can have it on normal. It estimates there's a one-hour one-hour difference between Smart and normal, so it reckons I've still got 11 hours. And if you use Ultra, keep only basic call and message functions available, you get 20 hours instead of 11 hours, which I have now. So that's another 9 hours that you get extra. Um, you can also see which applications in the background um, are still running. And you can protect apps, which I don't want at all because it not, I, don't, I don't like apps running in the background, to be honest. It's, it's annoying how much battery they drain if you look at the stats. Um, what else can I tell you guys? Um, it's got a suspend button. Oh yeah, it's got a suspend button, which is pretty cool. So here you just have, instead of using your on-screen ones at the bottom, you can use the, it's got a back, home, what's this one? Oh, it's even got more. That's pretty cool. Oh, so I can, uh, yeah, it's, it's just got all shortcuts again, but I, I, I keep it off, I keep it simple. I don't want to do anything silly with my phone. It's got motion control I had that I was in the 4.2 as well. It's got gloves mode 4.2 as well. But yeah, basically, um, when I've gone to 4.4.2, the only main difference is, just to conclude this whole video, is that it uh, it saves more battery. I, have, I can almost last two days with this phone now instead of having to charge it each night. And um, it's, it's a lot faster as well, it's smoother. It's still it's still not a very fast phone in my opinion. Like, I mean, the Nexus Five is obviously something you can't compare to a P6. But yeah, it, it's really fast. It comes with the most handy apps. Oh yeah, it's got the torch inside the shortcut thing as well, which was pretty cool because it didn't have that in the 4.2 either. You had to go into here and look for it there. There it was. Oh yeah, I'm using Swift Key Keyboard as you can see as well because I'm not a big fan of the the one that comes with the Huawei. Um, if you guys are interested in this, just look for, wait, I'll look for the build number of the 4.4.2. This is the stable one. The international one, they just brought out a new, so wait, this is on, uh, this is on Emotion UI 2.3. I heard that the 3 version has just come out, the 3.0, but this is only for the China version. So you can use it, but you have to change everything to English, which is, which is a, a yeah, it's a ball egg, basically. And, um, wait, where is it? Ah yeah, B520, that's the thing you have to look for, B520, 4.4.2, P6, look for that in Google, the update, and just look how to do it, there's a safe mode, ah oh, yeah, whatever, yeah, just, just look for that, and um, and yeah, good luck with that, and yeah, if you have any questions, or you want, well, I will, I'm not sure, I might put a custom ROM on it, just because I like the 
the standard Android so much. The stock Android is it's really really good, and uh, all this fancy stuff I don't really need. I just like the to have the layout like the Nexus. So I might put a like the Slim ROM on or something like that, or something else on 4.4 on KitKat basically. And yeah, see you guys the yeah one day.